Hey guys, welcome back to Kay's Place. To all my current subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And for all of you who aren't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. So I had filmed an intro to the video that you're getting ready to see, and I have no idea what happened to it. So when I was editing it, I don't know what happened to the beginning of the video. So you're getting ready to see what you're getting ready to see says I'm sorry I'm back now <laughs> and there's nothing that comes before that so I'm really sorry I don't know what happened to the beginning part of the video there are no products before that um, what had happened was um, the product that I started to show you was in um, packaging and I stopped the video to take it out so um, what I explained in the beginning of the video was that um, due to some really generous family member, I um, got a cricket for Christmas, and so I had purchased some items to go with my cricket. So I wanted to share with you all the items that I picked up at Tuesday morning. So that's what these items are, and it was a Tuesday morning haul, so, but I have no idea what happened to the intro, so I'm so sorry. So let me stop blabbing, and I'll get into the video and show you guys what I picked up at Tuesday morning. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. So I went ahead and opened them up for you. So it says that each one of these retailed for $29.99, and Tuesday morning had them for $12.99. So this is the first one that I got. It was the Disney one. And so each one of them comes with the uh, cartridge that goes inside the Cricut. And then it comes with the little booklet that tells you all of the um, designs that you can do and it's got a bunch of designs in there so that's got a ton I mean, Bambi and Thumper and flowers and uh, it's just got a ton to clean apart it's, it's got a bunch of designs in there so, it didn't say exactly how many designs were in here. Oh, a hundred images. So, it has a hundred Disney images in this on this kiss cartridge. So, I thought for $12.99, that was a pretty good deal. Um, I know that my husband was wanting to do some, um, like some font work with some vinyl. So, I know that... I did pick up quite a few things that had different fonts on them. Um, so this one is home organization. Home organization. So, and this one says that it has 175 layered images and 175 phrases. So. And it is just like the first one. You have the cartridge. And then it's got the, <clears throat> the booklet here that has all the images and stuff in it. And like some of the like the labels here. It's got flour, rice, oats, coffee. It's got those labels there. Then it's got it's like those images and then it even has like pins and screws and things like for the workshop and stuff like that so um, it's got leaves and apples and umbrellas and so is vacuum cleaners. So it even has like glue and things that would be helpful in the craft room too if you wanted to label stuff. So it's got some really useful 
images and stuff in this one too. Then this one says, let's cuddle. It's a Market Street fonts. And this one has seven different fonts. So it looks like it's gonna, it looks like it has some really cute fonts in there. And that's what that one looks like. And again, each one of these was $12.99 with a regular purchase price of $29.99. So, and then this one here is chalkboard fonts, and this one has 340 plus unique images, three layered fonts, 80 layered phrases, and 39 layered images. So, that was a pretty decent deal for $12.99. And then this one we thought looked really interesting. This one has 40 phrases and 10 images, and this one is specifically holidays through through the year iron on patches, thermo, iron on patches. So this is specifically for like to do iron ons. So we thought that one was really neat. So we picked that one up. So that we thought that one was kind of cool. And that one was $12.99 as well. So we got five of those cartridges, and that would have been one, two, three, four, five, five at thirty dollars a piece. That would have been a hundred and fifty dollars. Yikes! And we didn't even pay fifteen dollars a piece for them. So that was a pretty good deal. We paid thirteen a piece. So sixty-five. So, not bad at all. So then, we did pick up some vinyl. We picked up one thing of the Silver Sparkle vinyl. And this is one sheet. It's 12 inches by 48 inches. And it is, yeah, 12 inches by 48 inches. So it's just one really big sheet of silver vinyl, which is still not bad for, for $3.99. And then I picked up some vinyl transfer paper. So this is what you need to have all your image together so you can put it all on at one time. Which I'm sure if any of you all craft, which I know just about all of you do, know I already know that, you know more about a cricket than I do. Um, this is a 12 inch by, four, this is 12 inches by 48 inches. And that was $2.99. And then my husband had me get him a happy planner so he can have a planner to keep in the truck to know when doctor's appointments are and things like that and uh, car club meetings and things like that and he wanted me to redo the front cover for him so he had me buy vinyl in Steelers colors so I can make him a Steelers logo. So um, we got some blue vinyl and then this is 12 inches by 48 inches and it was $2.99 and then we got the yellow and this was also 12 inches by 48 inches for $2.99 which, like I said, guys, I don't think that's bad for vinyl at all because I have purchased it in the past when I was using my friend's Cricut, and it's, it can be a lot pricier. So we got the black vinyl in the 12 inch by 48 inch roll for $2.99, and this says compare it $7.99, and I know that it can be a lot more expensive. I don't know about this particular brand, but I do know that it can be a lot more expensive. And then this vinyl here is the red, and it's the 12 inch by 48 inch for $2.99. So, then my husband and I both love to color, and he was with me today when we were there. And he saw these American Crafts colored pencils, and they are the... Um, they look like there's a 48, 48 pencil set. 
and he said these looked like there was a box that was open and he said they looked like they were a really good colored pencil and he said I needed new colored pencils <laughs> so there's the colors that come in the box And they compare at, um, it says retail, regular retail price is $19.99 for 48 pencils. And they had the box for $8.99. So we went ahead and picked up two boxes of those because we don't share well. So he has one and I have one. <clears throat> and then I have been wanting to play with, oh, I forgot about these. I found these. I thought these would make absolutely gorgeous planner tassels or just um, tassels in general for something. I just thought they were so pretty. They were called design elements and they were bubble bead assortments. And they've got little, um, some of them have beads inside of them and some of them have confetti inside of them. But they were so pretty. And they were compared at $6.99 and they were $2.99. I thought they were just gorgeous. Hope it's not too glared that you can see them. They're pretty. They were so pretty. So, I just those are so pretty. And there were six of them in there. And then I've been wanting to practice with alcohol markers or water based markers that blend and but I, the thought of paying $70 for something that I'm not sure I'm going to like using just terrifies me. So we found this set of Chromax markers by Amer Chromatics markers by American Crafters. And there were 30 markers in here for $19.99 and it says they are regularly $69.99 and they do have the brush tip at one end and the um, they have a brush tip at one end and they have the other um, they have a small tip at the other end so but they are alcohol based they do have the blending marker so I'm going to be trying to learn to use these. So if you guys have any tips on using the alcohol based markers that blend, or if any of you have used or know of anybody who's used the chromatics markers, uh, leave me a comment below. Or if you have any tips for using these, let me know because I have never used these before. And I'm going to be practicing. Um, I have a couple coloring books that I don't use on the regular. And I'm going to be practicing and see how I do using these and those before I start using them on stamps and in projects. But um, I've wanted to use them and play with them for a while now. And um, so we did find this set and we went ahead and picked it up so that I could try it out and see before I invest in like some Spectrum Noir or Copic. I wanted to try with a cheaper set first. So. And then I went by Hobby Lobby. And um, I did pick up a small a happy planner for myself for my purse. So I have a bigger planner. And I wanted a small pencil pouch. And they had all their planner supplies on sale 30% off. So I picked up this small pencil pouch that's black and gold. And it actually clips in. I like that better than the kind that actually slid in. I thought that was kind of neat. So I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. And Valentine's Day is coming up. They had all of their um, paper studio paper on sale 50% off. So I picked up this heavyweight um, pink cardstock um, pack of different shades of pinks for... Um, 50% off. You see, there you go. There's the different shades that it has in it. So I picked those up. And then I picked up a small Valentine's Day paper pack. So I guess I have my scissors down here. So I can get into the. There we go. Small 
all Valentine's Day paper pack here. It's a six by six pad um, from the paper studio. And um, sorry about all that crinkling, guys. I just really like this one. It was called Vintage Valentine. I'm really into that vintage, old school kind of look these days. Um, but I really liked the colors and things that were in here. Sorry this video is so long. Um, I'm going to try to do a real quick flip through for you guys. I love some of the papers in here. I realize it's a little upside down, but sorry. Let's try not to lose you all. Oh, this is really pretty. That one's really pretty right there. And then that was all of that. So, and it had like no little like cut aparts or anything. It was all just paper, which I really liked. So, I don't think I saw what I mean. Yeah, no cut aparts, just paper. So, really liked that one. And it had um, 48 sheets in it, 16 designs. And there were um, three pages of each design in there. So then um, I also picked up a planner punch board. I was going to order this off of Amazon. But with the 40% off coupon from Hobby Lobby, it was actually cheaper. Um, I will say that they were really nice to me today at Hobby Lobby and they let me do my transaction. They let me do my purchases in two separate transactions. I am missing a bag. There is still a bag in my car someplace because I bought some paper. So I'll have to manage to run back out there sometime. But I did buy some paper as well from Hobby Lobby today. So it's still out in my car somewhere. But um, they did let me purchase it in two separate transactions. And, um, in doing so, let me, um, get, uh, 40% off of this and 40% off of the disc punch inserts which I thought was really awesome. And while I was there, apparently I must have had a horrible sweet tooth because I bought a bag of chocolate. <laughs> we bought the Palmer's, I think that's who makes these little suckers, Palmer's Valentine Variety Mix of Chocolatey Assorted Hearts. And they are peanut butter hearts, caramel hearts, fudge hearts, double crisp hearts, and cookies and cream hearts. And let me tell you, there is not a heart in there that was bad. They were all yummy. <laughs> so, I'll have to come back later and show you guys the paper that I bought. I bought some really pretty loose, um, loose open stock paper from Hobby Lobby. It was really pretty. So, I'll have to show you guys that in another video, guys. Because, obviously, I left it in the car. So, with that being said, I guess that's all I have to show you guys for today. So, I hope you enjoyed my little shopping trip. Um, I hope we'll have some interesting projects now that I have um, my own Cricut. And I'll have access to it all the time. And have access to some really cool projects that we can work on. And um, maybe do some swaps. So, you know, if any of you have a channel or you're into crafting and you'd like to do a swap, hit me up. I'm definitely open to that. I'm interested. I'm always wanting to learn new things. So um, if any of you'd like to do a craft swap, let me know. I would love to hear from you. I'd definitely be interested. So 
you know, in the comments below, let me know or email me or hit me up on Facebook. I'm always open for any of my subscribers to send me a friend request on Facebook. Just let me know that you're from the YouTube channel and I will approve the friend request and we can chat on Facebook. You know, just let me know. Or if you would like for me to start a separate Facebook account just for our group for our YouTube, let me know. I can do that too. I have no problem with that. So, um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me take up part of your evening. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. So, like I said, thanks to all of my current subscribers for sticking around with me and letting me waste some of your time. And for all of you guys who aren't currently subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. We'd love to have you as part of our family. And I really do mean that. I don't just say that. You all, you guys are my family and my friends. Uh, truly, you are. You're, you're definitely who gives me a purpose. You're what keeps me going. So... If there's, and I mentioned it before, if there's anything any of you guys see that you think we could do to improve the channel, please comment below and let me know. I would, I appreciate all the feedback. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off here and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks again. Bye.